going to do the maintenance for uh, lube oil auto filter so for that we have to depressurize the filter first so for depressurizing the filter first thing you have to do is uh, you have to close the valve inlet valve for the filter and outlet valve for the filter to be closed drain valve should be opened so that whatever the oil inside the system will be drained so now once these three things are done you can see the pressure is zero there is no more pressure inside the chamber now we are ready to open the top cover so for opening the top cover we have to close the air supply for the auto filter and then we have to remove the pipe lube oil pipe connections so once the connection is removed you can start removing the bolts for the top cover remove all the bolts completely ensure all the bolts are removed before lifting the filter cover and proper lifting arrangement should be done proper chain blocks should be rigged and uh, now we are ready to lift the cover so we are using two chain blocks you can see the filter cover is being removed so next thing is this is your filter protection cover this is your protection plate you can see so clean it nicely now we need to open the filter holding bolts nuts so ensure you are using proper tools for opening it and this nuts should be kept properly and safely now we are removing the cover plate again keep it securely now we are removing the filter filter removing is a very easy process just you need to lift there is no other connection for it so remove all the filters from the chamber this filter is absolutely clean there is uh, you can see there is no much impurities on the filter so this is your uh, pin which rotates the which rotates the filter the the pin directly sits on the center shaft so in my last video you, you must have seen I told you to do the rotation checks during uh, operation so this is how it rotates this pin sits on the shaft center so it keep on rotating the filters and uh, now you can see uh, this is the inner side of the filter you can see you can do a visual inspection there is no impurities nothing everything is fine these are all the filter holes where the filter sits and just have a look on the body body should be free of any kind of scratches if you see any scratch that means filter is rubbing in the body and see the condition of the pin pin should be absolutely fine these are the three things we have to see and you have to check the condition of the o-ring o-ring should be in a good condition okay so once all these things are done now we are going to start cleaning the filter so this filter whenever you are uh, securing somewhere it should be secured properly because this filter have a fine notch if you hit in some corner it may get damage so that the purpose of having the filter will be out so first thing we need to do is clean the filter with a clean diesel oil so that uh, all the dirt will be removed so once the filter is removed 
as you see we are cleaning on the both side uh, because uh, the filter is very long so you have to ensure you are cleaning the filter both the side and whenever we are uh, this is how we have to clean the filter so keep it over any soft surface and start blowing air so whenever you are blowing you have to rotate the filter so that the air passes all the way of the filter so now you can see eh, the filter is cleaned and inspection is going on so inspection what you have to check is you have to check for any damages any notch wire is removed or not completely you have to check it properly and especially you have to check for the packing packing should be in place this is your rubber packing so if you miss the packing then the filter don't rotate so it is very important to ensure the packing is there before fitting back okay so we started cleaning the filters same way clean with the diesel and blow air so this is how you are you have to check rotate and check it visually check for any kind of damage any notch wire came out any kind of dent everything you have to see this you have to check for all the filters okay so once that is done we can start fixing back so for fixing back you need to do is you have to check the packing is there and exactly fit the filter over the groove so we started boxing back the filter in place always ensure whenever you are fitting back the filter the packing should be in place sometime what happen is when you are fixing it the packing may fall down so that should not happen so what we are doing is one team is uh, cleaning the filter the other team is fixing back the filter in place so that you can uh, utilize your time properly so okay so very easy way to identify whether the filter is clean or not just you keep the filter towards the light and see it the you have to see a clean picture of your uh, filter see this is how you have to see the light going through that means your filter is clean so next thing is uh, bolt as i say all time you had should be cleaned properly and greased up properly so we are uh, cleaning the plate just uh, always ensure whenever you are opening before putting back it should be cleaned properly free of any kind of dirt okay now we are fitting back the top cover okay top cover in place again the bowl should be given a coat of uh, grease so main thing that we should note while putting back this nut is uh, you have to be very careful because uh, sometime if you are uh, not so careful the nut may fall down inside the chamber and it will again give a big job because you have to open the entire thing out entire thing out and you have to check for the nut you have to look it you have to take it out and it's a big job i'm telling so always ensure when you are uh, fitting back the nut be very careful so now we are tightening the top cover nut so whenever we do the tightening ensure you are not tightening too much and you have to tighten properly like equally the filter should be properly within the plates ensure the filter should not go out it should be within the plates only okay so you can see now we are doing the tightening now 
okay so this is how we have to check so once it is tightening you have to check the filter should not rotate that is how you have to ensure okay now clean the filter casing cover area where the filter cover is going to sit the o-ring should be exactly free from any kind of impurities clean the cover also clean the top cover properly ensure it is free of any kind of dirts and everything so okay give you a coat of grease over the o-ring okay now we are ready to put back the cover in place so while lowering the filter uh, top cover ensure you are equally lowering the chain block so that there won't be any uneven movements of top cover so now you can see the filter top cover is coming so almost it is there the main thing that you need to check is you have to ensure the filter cover should not hit the filters and the inside pin operate pin should exactly locate on the drive shaft of your filter so now it is in place filter top cover is in place and uh, check for the marking the marking is still not aligned so again we have to lift it and we will align with the marking yeah now you can see the marking is matching so that now it is okay now we can start tightening the top cover put all the bolts in place tighten it so fit back the lube oil connection ensure all the connection or uh, in place properly tighten properly all the flange gaskets are in place before uh, tightening the before putting the gasket before putting the bolts and nuts you have to check whether the gasket are in place i checked already there is a gasket in place so final tightening should be done for all the bolts so use proper allen key so that uh, you don't damage the bolts and uh, always tighten opposite opposite and also you have to do it equal tightening of all the bolts so that you don't uh, tighten the top cover un unequally okay all the this connections is been tightened air connection is in place fit back the air connection Okay, so locating pin in place so now we are closing the drain valve open the inlet valve slowly open the inlet valve slowly and the purge line is opened do not open the outlet valve just open little inlet valve so that once the air in the filter chamber is released then you can start opening the outlet valve so you can see the pressure is gradually increasing so 
now we are uh, waiting for the air should come out of the purge line and uh, oil should come without any air bubbles so you have to be little bit patience and you should not open too much valve because sometimes if you open too much the oil flow will be more you can see the pressure is increasing that means uh, oil is filling up inside the chamber i can feel the air coming out air is coming out of the system the main thing before putting the filter in operation is that you have to remove all the air which is trapped inside the auto filter this is your lube oil outlet valve it is still closed and now you can see uh, oil came out yes i opened the outlet valve now the filter starts rotating the filter is in operation now okay so now our job is done there is no leakage our job is done completely finished so there is no leakage in the chamber nothing everything is fine and you can see the area is cleaned and you can see the operation it is rotating properly so that's all our job is done so this is how you have to do the auto filter cleaning these are all the procedure that we need to follow and this is how we have to take precaution before uh, opening the filter i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about how to open auto filter what are all the checks that we need to do and uh, how to box up everything thanks for watching thank you guys